The spirit, the spiritual levels, no dancing with devils, no fellow with rebels. Some digging with shovels, they digging, they digging, they digging real deep. Some humble, they hearken, they listen, they meet. Some praise the most high seven days of the week. Some put in that work and go teach in the streets. Some just come to take up the air that we breathe. Some come just to take up the space that we need. The spiritual levels, the spiritual levels, they come in all shapes and sizes. What's up, everybody? It's Bill Josiah. Back again with another video, as usual. Now you can see me inside the house, I'm not inside the garage. I'm gonna show y'all how to mount a TV wall mount to a wall. So, we're gonna get right into it. So, I got this off of eBay. As y'all know, I order everything off of eBay. So, I got this, the mount, and then I got this, the little brackets to hold onto the mount. So, like this. And this particular mount comes with a leveler. I think I got this for like $11 off of eBay, including tax. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Uh, where I got this from on eBay, you can get it too. Real cheap and expensive. They can hold like 165 pounds worth of a TV. So you're right into it. So you are gonna need a stud finder. You can get one from Walmart for, for a few dollars. I actually got this from my dad. So you just put it on the wall, come from the corner. It's uh, wood right there. Uh, let me show y'all. On here it says edge. You see the green and it'll go up as as close as the closer you get to the the two by four you'll see the red you'll see the uh, the indicators go up and it'll eventually go up to the uh to the edge mark so as you can see on here that's the two by four you go over no more two by four you want to find a two by four that you can put it on you want to just mount it Unless you got um, some of these, which I'm gonna use for this specific mount, I am gonna need this. So I have my two by four right here already. So what you want to do is just mark it where the two by four is. So just put a little dot there so you know. Or you can use you can also use a pen. Most people use like a pencil or a pen or something like that. And you are going to need a drill to make this process quick. So right now, what you just saw me do, I just made some marks in the wall where I can put, um, forget what you call them, like the little guards or whatever, so it won't fall out or get loose, but it is on the two by four, so you really don't need these. But you see right here, I already had a mount in here. I'm gonna switch the mounts, so that's why that's there. So it said that it had, you see on here, showing that the two by four is right here, but I still gotta put these in because I guess there's a two by four behind it. Maybe it's something else detecting it, but gotta put those uh, guards in, whatever they want. Make sure it's leveled out, or we'll 
key will sit slightly crooked. Not that big of a deal, but just make sure it's leveled out. As you see, it's leveled out. Um, I have to put those two guards in it on these sides right here. Those actually have a two by four. But at this point, it's pretty much simple. So we gotta screw these in on the back. Every TV has these, every LCD flat screen. So you got those four screws to go in. So when you order a mount, it comes with, always comes with a kit for your uh, different size TV. So the sizes I had in there, none of those work, but I do have one from my old mount in here. So you do want to put these on the right side. Don't really have, well, I guess it don't matter. See these, this is what goes right here. Just figure out which hole it is. And then these are the ones you just put this in here and I'll show y'all the rest when I get to it, but it list locks in on the mount that's on the wall. It locks it in. So now we're ready to uh, get this TV mounted on. Real simple install takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Now, I think on the back of this, you just got the hooks that it hooks into on the back side. And you can, uh, on this one, I like this one better, but you can slide it and get it straight. So you wanna slide it and get it straight to how we want it, or at least to how, at least to how I want it. That's perfect for me. So now, the last thing with this type of mount, I gotta do is get these two bolts and screw them in the back and give y'all a close up. we're gonna do is come in with a drill bit, try to at least. Come in with the drill bit. Not sure if you can see it, but it just tightens to where you can't um, try to pull it out. So if someone was trying to sell your TV or something, they gotta actually Unscrew these just to get to it. This is how it looks centered, pretty squared. And this is how the back side looks. It's like an inch away that it says. So it's enough clearance to where you can move it. It has to tilt. So that's the end of the video, man. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so y'all can be notified every time I post a video. Um, like I said, I'm gonna keep giving y'all this good content, man. How to do how to do anything that you can think of. Not only cars, I'm a handyman anywhere else you can think of. Anything I can put my hands on, I can pretty much do it. Make sure you like subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button so my videos can be uh, on other people's channels so they can like, share, and subscribe it too. Uh, hit the notification bell once again so you can be notified every time I post a video. Rebels, the real Jews are hidden, they all in the prisons, they cursed in the field and they cursed in the ghettos. Some have faith, they trust and believe.